We've all been there, staring at our phones, wondering why they haven't texted back, only to realize it's been weeks. Losing a best friend can feel like your world is falling apart. Whether it's because of a misunderstanding, a betrayal, or simply growing apart, the void left behind can be overwhelming. So how do you pick up the pieces and move on? First things first, let's talk about why losing a BFF hurts so much. Best friends are often our go-to people for sharing joys and sorrows. They're like the ones who know our quirks, secrets, and dreams. When that bond breaks, it feels like losing a piece of yourself. It's not just the absence of their presence, it's the loss of shared experiences and the emotional support they provided. It's natural to feel lonely and adrift, unsure of how to navigate life without them. But here's how you can cope and find your way back to a place of peace and happiness. Acknowledge your feelings. Losing a BFF can be emotionally devastating. Allow yourself to grieve the loss of your friendship. Bottling up your emotions will only make things worse in the long run. You might go through stages like denial. They'll text back any minute now. Anger. How could they do this to me? Bargaining. If I just do this, they'll come back. Depression. Cue the sad songs. And finally, acceptance. So cry if you need to. Scream into a pillow. Journal your thoughts. Accepting and understanding your emotions is the first step toward healing. Addressing betrayal or broken trust. Betrayal from a best friend can feel like a punch to the gut. Maybe they spread your secrets, didn't stand up for you when someone talked badly about you behind your back, or failed to be there for you during your time of need. Moments like these can be deeply hurtful, especially from someone you trusted so much. If your friendship ended because of betrayal, it's important to face these feelings head on. Acknowledge the pain and let yourself feel sad about the loss of trust. It's okay to be angry or hurt but try to focus on healing instead of staying stuck in those feelings. Think about what boundaries were crossed and what you learned from the experience. This could be a chance to understand your own needs better and set clearer limits in future friendships. Try to talk it out. If possible, have an open and honest conversation with your BFF. This is a chance to express your emotions, share your perspective and listen to theirs. Approach the conversation with an open mind and a willingness to understand, rather than to assign blame. Be honest about how the situation has affected you, but be ready to hear uncomfortable truths. Sometimes a heartfelt talk can clear up misunderstandings and heal deep rifts. Even if it doesn't rekindle the friendship, it can provide closure. Knowing you've communicated your feelings and tried to address the situation can bring a sense of peace. Engage in meaning making. Meaning making involves finding personal significance in life events, especially losses. Instead of viewing the end of your friendship as meaningless, seek a deeper purpose or lesson. Reflect on the friendship. What did you learn from it? What moments brought you joy? What challenges did you face together? Reflecting can help you understand the depth and significance of the bond, providing a sense of closure. Remember, this isn't about blaming yourself or your friend. It's about gaining insight and moving forward. Spend time with people. Don't isolate yourself. Reach out to other friends and family members who care about you. Let them support you during this tough time. Share your feelings with them. You might be surprised at how many people have gone through similar experiences and can offer valuable advice and comfort. While no one can replace your BFF, meeting new people can also bring fresh energy and perspectives into your life. Join clubs, take up new activities, or attend social events. Expanding your social circle can open up new opportunities for connection and friendship. Give yourself closure. Psychologists often emphasize the power of rituals in processing emotions and creating a sense of closure. Consider creating a small ritual to honor the end of your friendship. This could be as simple as writing a goodbye letter, lighting a candle, or creating a scrapbook of memories. Rituals can help signal to your brain that it's time to move forward. Focus on self-care. Self-care is crucial during times of emotional distress. Engage in activities that make you feel good and help you relax. Whether it's taking a long bath, going for a run, reading a book, or practicing mindfulness, taking care of yourself will help you heal faster. Join a club, start a new hobby, or take up a sport. Not only will this help distract you from the pain, but you might also meet new friends who share your passions. Reframe your thoughts. Change is a natural part of life. And as pessimistic as it sounds, loss is inevitable. People will move away, drift away, and pass away. Acceptance of this reality helps us cope better. 
Losing a BFF can feel personal, but often isn't. We might feel hurt that our friendships end or change, yet it doesn't mean we failed. Therapists suggest that reframing negative thoughts can significantly impact your emotional well-being. Instead of thinking, I've lost my BFF, try reframing it to, I'm grateful for the time we had and the lessons I've learned. This shift in perspective can alleviate some of the pain and help you see the situation in a more positive light. Losing a BFF is never easy, but with these strategies, you can navigate this challenging time and come out the other side stronger and wiser. Remember, healing takes time. It's okay to have good days and bad days. Be patient with yourself and don't be afraid to seek help if you need it. You're stronger than you think. So, have you experienced losing a BFF? How did you cope? Share your story in the comments down below. And if you found this video valuable, please support us with a like, share, and subscribe. We also have videos on how our relationships reveal our true selves. And if you struggle to let go of hatred, watch this. Thanks for watching.